terminal is currently our flagship project. It is a huge project that is going to be comprehensive in nature to cater for um, residential and commercial activities. It has industrial enclave, it has enclave for schools, it has enclave for central business district, it has an enclave for um, anything that you can think of, the terminal possesses. It's been 10 years, uh, Mr. T. Now, 10 years anniversary, we see me doing it differently. We started 10 years anniversary, they have to start from Europe. That is why I am starting everything here in Europe. Now, Denmark, any place I may start from, I'm doing Europe tour to kick off my 10 years anniversary in media. Now, me first never know, I'm in my team, I'm in Denmark, Steven, and a wicked queen, I'm in the same place. I'm in the same place, 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 and pain and it's a big rush in gym. Now we do honestly fear some gym. And God has listened to my prayers. The team in chain needs no introduction. As I've been born, we have a chance to purchase neighborhood and a tag on the call 2006 World Cup Germany representing Ghana. And this will be to tell you, say yes, or boy on my conqueror Ghana. It's an honor to have you boys. Thank you very much. Welcome. Happy New Year. Same to you. Same to you. I remember what to say. And you can't go. Get them. I've only been in my new year with new goals. So I'm putting them here now. With the the kids that I have that I'm training, it's going very well, and uh, we are looking forward for two 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 thousand and twenty 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 two. Okay. Yeah. Um. To maybe I could be a one two thousand and ten two thousand eleven. Ah. If you have a car, Rada car. Uh. Oh no. Mami, who be about you? Uh, my name is Raza, Pimp Raza Pimpon, and uh, you are from Jamestown, uh, Accra. Accra. Yeah, and I want to tell me. Where are you from? Me uh, originally from Accra. Me from Accra. Me and I'm a little bit uh, voter okay. area. Yeah, but Accra na you are from a police in Accra. You are from Accra. You are from Accra. You are from Accra. Yeah, exactly. Uh, education, you have to be in the same way. I went uh, to GSS. After GSS uh, 3, then we, we came to uh, Infantipim a little bit to play football with, uh, together with uh, Derek Boatin and uh, all this before we got, I got called to the national team on the 17. Okay. So from there, then just one high school. I didn't went to high school. Okay. Didn't went to high school. JHS no was it one twice because of ball and as now on me. Man twice, man twice because of ball. Yeah. It's also also because my mind wouldn't say that. So so open up ball. You have to put all the energy into it. So that is why I I end up there. Over Europe, football a big deal. But Ghana, as at then, I'm not sure if football is a big deal. Be one that's saying me, but boy, many scary friends with my Kabuchi. Why did you decide say after JHS, me focus on the body, me do be papa? Me kai se Jamestown Police Station. Now police nibi ohon. Me kai se yebe 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 exams no. JHS last last exams. Uh, so, why, why, exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. Into now, Hono is looking after how uh, how it's gonna go, so that no one will cheat and stuff like that. And now, what you said, I made bread because I was not there, no, there was my failure. Yeah. Then, uh, after, just after that, he, 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 he know me, so he just say, "What is the old bread?" Because we go school, we go school, our uncle. What is the old bread? And now the bobo. Now the bobo. Okay. But but later on. Uh, after when I was 17, he saw me, then it's like, he was shaking his head. Then he said to me that he can see what I meant mm -hmm. by then, that I want to play football. Yeah. Because I, I, I dedicate everything to it. And with God and help, I made it. So from under 17 now, mm -hmm. David, I know so you went to Olympics. Yeah. Uh, after I was playing Olympics before I went to under I went 17. To under 17. So you're very young when you were playing at Olympics? Yeah, I, was, uh, I played in, I started in um, Kinaris in, uh, from Kenya Racing, uh, then I came to the under twenty Olympics under twenty, and it, within the under under twenty, that's where the the colors, mm. you know, the this they call it under twenty by then, yeah. yeah. Then they call us all the young ones uh, to uh, Winneba 
when I was 17 camp. He, yeah. I would say I didn't even the football age. Mm. Is it true? That one I don't know. <laughs> that one I don't know. I don't know. But what's what we be picked? Yeah. We're in Messi or some more 22 years as yeah. a papa day. But that one I don't I don't, I don't have any idea. Do you have age? I think so. I think so. Were you using your real age? Yes. Is it what you're about? Were you using your real age? I think so. I did. Right now, I'm checking. So, we're 38, 39 years. Uh, I will be 40 this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, in the calculation, whether you are using your real age or not. <laughs> of course, you you, you, you you will do it, yeah. FIFA Argentina in 2001, right? Uh, 2001 was that on the 20th. Argentina. Argentina was How did you get, get a call up? Uh, it was just a one at 17, yeah. Uh, on a, on a, when you are on a 17 camp, we 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 always pray, work hard, that we will go to tournament, to the to, with the national on a 17. Mm -hmm. Because if you play on the 17 in the in the tournament and you get contract, it makes and you are doing well in Europe, it makes the rest of the national teams easier, easier for you. And when we were on a 17. We remember when we were in Winneba, we know that on our 20s, that was a Trump, uh, uh, like he's still in. You know, we, we, have, we have seen, we, we go there, I remember when we were there, when the, uh, Trump come as a professional. Okay. Some come as a professional, and we, we see how it is with the professionals and with the local players. So, our prayers is all the time to get a chance to uh, get a contract in Europe so that it can be easier for us. Uh, I used to clean a Trump's uh, football shoes for him when he finished uh, training. I go visit him in his room and uh, because they were all in the camp in the in the in the Winneba. and seeing him, he became like a like like a like a mentor, you know. Furikwe and you know it's like then I, he, he, he keep, it gives me morale that I have to work hard and if I work hard, I will come back to national team when he's on a twenty as a professional. So that is how it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me hold on with the national teams. Now, mm. clubs are all boy. Mm. So from Olympics, now by Europe. Let me buy Europe. Let me buy New Zealand. That was uh, right after the on the seventeen uh, World Cup in New Zealand. Mm. So they spotted mm. you there. They spotted me there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. And I buy now. So I call Omurai and Copenhagen. And I'm saying call Copenhagen. Why? Because. We're playing for Magellan and then Omurai and I was a bomb to play. By then, that they were no rival. Okay. Because. Uh, Midland was a small club and Copenhagen was a big club. So I played five years here and Midland wanted a stand for me. But that was around where they, they want to call the, on the, on the, uh, the national team for the World Cup 2006. Okay. And around that, if I see in Midland, Copenhagen was playing the, in, the, in the Champions League. Champions League. Mm -hmm. So it will be hard for me to be able to make it to the, make it to the national team if I'm playing Midland. So it's also one of the reasons why I changed to Copenhagen. To Copenhagen. So that's the shot in the front. We exactly. They will spot me because when I'm playing uh, Champions League, people will see in the TV, they will see what, how I'm doing. Yeah. So that will make it easier for me to be able to, want, uh, to, be, able to be one of the, the selected players who will be going to the World Cup. Mm. So that was the reason why also I changed to Copenhagen. So you played uh, Champions League in 2006? Yeah, right? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. How, how, how was the experience? Uh, before then, I've, I've been playing uh, uh, European European games, uh, UEFA okay. games with the Midtjylland. Okay. Uh, we have been third and played some of the games, but playing Champions League is is different. It's mm. it's uh, it's like when you take World Cup, it's Champions League that is the next. Yeah. Then you have Olympic games and stuff. That and and it's like standing on the field and hearing the sound. Well, till now. When I'm when I'm watching Champions League and I hear the song, I still remember how it was wow. by then. Wow. Yeah. So getting a call up to the national team you now, people mm -hmm. say say, I say unya links be. I go say koko fu wabo udeni ma yam pase ma. I to know somebody peni bu ho. Yeah. Asiye afro so to your bribes be ubi kwa be from pa obaji cuts. How are all those allegations? I don't that one. I don't know about it. When I was there, I always work hard. You know, sometimes football is also it's also with luck. It's also with luck. Uh, you can you can work hard, and maybe when it's about to be picking, then you can get injury. Yeah. Then you are gone. I believe in myself, and I believe in God 
and uh, luckily the trainers that I have had have really could see how hard I work. So in, in when it comes to selection, they know what I bring when I'm on the field. I'm one of the players who have not scored too many goals as a striker. Mm. But what I, I bring on the field, they appreciate what I bring in the field. What it goes as my bay, football here, you see the honey go. You can't be a boy now, once you buy and fire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for us, blasters, mm -hmm. walk up. Mm -hmm. Maybe I must have a chance. Uh, the insult from back home, the backlash, yeah. now, how do you guys take it? I think uh, when when you, I played from the 17, yeah. so if you can imagine, I play on the 17, on the 20, uh, 23, and uh, the blasters. It. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, in a way, you get used to it. Okay. That is the way, and, and I, I understand, Ghana is a, is a loving country that people want to win games. Mm. So if you don't, you don't win, they come after you. Yeah. And that's how it is. Oh, okay. But uh, in a way, you have to take it as how it is and just keep moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the normal routine of Razak Pimpon when he was a player, when mm -hmm. he was playing for uh, FC Copenhagen and any other teams, you know, be a footballer. Mm -hmm. And they also are there. How do you train? How do you do your style so that like, you, you keep up with your strength and uh, fitness? I think uh, what, what, what you have to do football is um, you, you lose a lot of energy in football so you have to be able to to uh, rest when in when it needs because the short time that you, you are playing games it, it, it needs so much energy so what you have to do train and rest train and rest and pray that things will go good for you when you're on the field rest it's very, very important. I remember you seeing, you used to tell me that I've been, I sleep a lot. Oh, no, easy, no. Yeah, that is why you have so much energy. Mm. Amati, I've been talking to, Amati have been telling me when he's in Copenhagen, he used to even get up middle of the, uh, maybe around like normally in Ghana, you wake up five o'clock and go around and he used to do that. And sometimes he runs while players are sleeping. Then he comes and takes our and meet with them in the morning. Then feels like okay, I've come, but they don't know that they have they have been training beside. So it needs all these sacrifices before it works. Playing with the Asians and the mm. Pistols and mm. others, how did that ginger you to be a better footballer? Because uh, I'm Asian, you know, the buffoon. Yeah, the buffoon. Yeah, I mean Asian have been a very very uh, inspiration for me. Uh, I, I was with him on a seventeen when he all started. And uh, luckily, he made it in the big top. Uh, and and Zali played I mean, Chelsea. The most, the, the most expensive player at that time. I yeah. from I think I think Asian have a very very big respect for him. Uh, even though that is it was big than me, our friendship have been going till now, and we still talk still. Okay. And um, I've been visiting him in the, when he was playing Chelsea. I've been visiting him twice, and we keep going. So. He had been all the time inspiration, even though that we were the same age and the same, uh, but the hands are not, are not, not the same. Yeah. Some will be here, some will be here, some will be here, and that's how the word is. So the expression you can get, you take it with you and move and, and move on with it. And pencil and all this, they have been doing, they have been doing very, very good. And uh, I always wish them uh, the best, the best exactly. Walk up 2006. Mm. When you Oh, I cannot, I cannot talk about money. You know, I cannot talk about money. But um, I was okay. Mm. Yeah. Ghana was a place. You talk about saying, "Mobile national team, man." You talk about too much. It's more the 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 corresponding match now. Mobile national in this kind of Yeah, I don't know about, it, but we we did our best when we were there. I remember that day when we came back from the World Cup. The whole uh, the whole airport was full of people because we did well. But what you have to know is that football is not is it's a career that you cannot play till you are you are fifty. Mm -hmm. You know, football is a very short career. So what people will do to get much more from it, they they will do it. And I think that is what the national team they also see to be able to deliver 
and uh, motivate the players so that they can go deliver when they go to the the world stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In front of the brand new World Cup, how was the feeling? Oh, I remember in Copenhagen when uh, when I saw the list and I saw my name, it was like wow. That that was big. That was big, and I remember. Uh, against US, I started that game, and when I was standing in the field and uh, they were playing the national anthem, I had my my hand in my chest, and um, you know, do, then you think where it all started, and when you think about it, where you are standing today, you get emotional. You know, it's sometimes you see some of the the uh, the the World Cups that we will be playing, some players will be standing and crying. You know, all this is because they think where they come from and where they are standing. And it's not many who can make it to, so, to the World Cup. So when you are standing there, you really have to really appreciate it mm -hmm. and uh, give your best to the nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a lot more to talk about. Hey, Digital marketing business, I've been doing with you. Any two years, you me. You should be asking one year, and I've seen results. They be having yeah, because they register and start searching up because of this business. Business, see, my baby, you interview me so that you better say, but you only be share, share, never share be what say. Now, I have to say my baby, add this one. Other Ghanaians also be add one. Oh, dear, best you can say, best you should what you share be be someone who said there's something that take care of the long hours and the double job so that you can spend quality time with your family and this is what this business is built for me you are sign up on my link so information you know about one you information about to take your time and watch the webinar reach out to me on whatsapp with any concern me i am willing to support you i am willing to walk you through the system so that you too will be successful when you get to our community you will see my success and your mind will blow off bye talk to you soon I am back. I'm still here with uh, Razak Pimpon, who happens to be uh, a former uh, footballer. Uh, yeah, am I still playing football? Uh, I, I played my last in uh, Vibo here, where I'm living here, and uh, my wife is. It's not long from here. She's also around here. Um, I had a when I moved from Norway to to Egypt, uh, I signed a three years contract. And uh, I've been born on Norway. Me born, me born uh, Viking Stavanger. Okay. And uh, in Egypt, I play for El Masri, a team called El Masri there. And I uh, me signed three years contract for Egypt, but I got to find out that the the, the payment was not coming and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So after five months, I decided that I have to uh, quit it and say to them, if they can give me my um, my my license, then I would like to just go and just leave. Leave it, yeah. yeah, then they give so I came to uh, to Denmark back, then uh, Vibo signed me and I played like four years for Vibo. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been having a lot of injuries with my, my groin, you know, and it, it came a, a time that is like they really need me when I play a game, I have to go out from the training. Monday, Tuesday, then uh, rest, and Thursday I'm there. To, then I play game again, so I could I could feel that it was not working with with my groin. Then uh, they have been asking me if I would like to uh, work in the in the club. Uh, then we went to Ghana to play with the uh, Asian uh, Game of Hope. Yeah. yeah. Then they, they told me before we went we left. So when when I went to that uh, Game of Hope. I've been thinking about it. So after the, when I came back, if I look my my uh, my school background, I could I, I didn't have education. Yeah. So when they offer me to work, then I think I have to I have to stop the football and concentrate of what after football what I have to do. Then uh, I told them that I would like to I would like to work. So I was working I was uh, working around the kids the fans, kids, to make events for them. Okay. Make a uh, event around the, the game day. Okay. They come and they have some play together and do different, different things. Then I jumped myself into it. And uh, and there's a boarding school here called uh, Heli. Then they asked me if I would like to come there to be a coach uh, and a mentor for for the school. 
Then I said that uh, I think I would like to do that because they they want to to be able to give the experience that I have to uh, to the players who comes there and stuff like that. Then I took it and uh, I've not regretted it till now. How many years now? Uh, two thousand and four. Uh, I, I, I stopped 2013, then I, I started uh, 2014. Okay. Yeah. So playing football all these years, mm -hmm. has it paid off? I think so, because that's what I'm living on now. All my experience that I've gathered, that's what I'm living on now. And while I was playing football, I make sure that my network, I keep them. Because what sometimes footballers forget is that when you are playing football, Maybe money is coming and uh, you're having a good time. But you have to think that the people that you see is the people that when, we, when you finish playing, is them you're going to meet again. So how to comport yourself, how to behave, is very, very important. So if, if you behave very well and you make a good network, when you finish football, that are the networks that can carry you to the other side of football. And that's what I did. That, that have helped me till now. With Asamoja, people can say that he has a pure company, he has other businesses. Mm -hmm. I know he has other businesses still, mm -hmm. Napier and other players, and also he be a into a real estate mm -hmm. when they were actively making money yeah. from football. Mm -hmm. so, off, you know, mm -hmm. They are not living on that money or my normal fee. Yeah. Playing football, playing for the Black Stars, Copenhagen, and other teams, you know, did mm -hmm. they make, do something back home? Uh, of course, I have, a, I have, I have done something home. Uh, but I'm I'm li I've been, I'm living here. I've been living here for for many years. And what I have uh, thought is that what can I do where I'm living okay. to to be able to to make sure that after football I will be still all right. Okay. And that is what I'm doing now. I've, uh, I open my I open uh, football school for myself. That the, when I started the the boarding school there, I started with the football school right away aside. That we were, we were around uh, 14 to start with. And uh, today we are over, oh, the they kids are over 100 now. So, and uh, I'm, I've also started for guests that is also going very well now. So in a way, that is that is me. Okay. Yeah. So you're okay? Yeah, I think I'm okay. At times, Obuha, Obejai, Obejini Ding, about football, about entertainment, Obejini Ding, now. Years later, mm -hmm. ten years time, Nafi and my Basa Mano and Omasa Babaka ever says his cup. Now, just last month or so, some few weeks ago, mm -hmm. you have come. <laughs> How did you see your performance? Um, I've I watched uh, I've gone and uh, uh, so I will say, of course, everyone knows that it didn't work how it wanted to, to be. Uh, which I was very uh, heartbroken because I, 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 I've, I've looked forward for the Afghan and I was hoping that the Blasters will reach far. But that's also football. Sometimes it doesn't go well. Then you have to take it from there, to build it from there. So, yeah, that was hard. Mm. Yeah. Now, I'm for say, I say, yeah, yeah, the, the, the team, Ejina, did I use to? Well, Prime Christ is still now. Mm. Um, did you see it like that? Uh, but I think did they bring something to the team? That is it. That that one I would just say for sure. You can see when he's on the field, his performance that he put on the field. It, it gives something to the team. So in a way, I understand why they want to him, let him play. Mm. I would say that. Milo coming back now. Mm -hmm. Now uh, I didn't have Milo on the when I was playing, okay. but uh, so I cannot ha I cannot say nothing about it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But okay, the, the previous performance, I would just now. I am also I got to know I saw Kofana Babaka to come and coach us to Afcon and to work up. Yeah, but but you know uh, that is a football word. You know they can also people uh, teams bring top t uh, coaches mm. and and result will not go then they will fire them again. Mm. So in a way. He have his experience that he can give the team, but we didn't perform, and he got sacked. Mm. So there's nothing to do about it. It's it's part of the football world. Are you, are you capable of handling our national team? For no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think I want to handle the uh, <laughs> national team. No. No. I mean, okay. Out of under seventeen, yeah. so national team. I'm not there. I don't have anything about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy. Well, yeah. Up with the, 
with the technical bit component? Uh, I know Ked very much. Uh, I know Ked. Ked have also been helpful when I was in Ghana, and I still talk to Ked up to today. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry for his dad, uh, Def. Um, mm -hmm. I think being here and seeing what Ked have been doing, he have really, really, he have been working very hard. He have been going, you know, I think he have really changed some things in the, the FA president. The FA president. Yeah. He have really changed some things in the in the Ghana football, which I can see it here in Europe. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that he's doing. Mm -hmm. um, but he sometimes asks me to to keep eye on the, the players who are playing in Denmark to uh, to see how they are doing the performance and stuff. Mm -hmm. That things I can do, okay. but uh, I, I don't have any intention to. Uh, but because of the uh, Afghan interest, the people are saying say. I'm not for Ed didn't hear more. They are disappointed in him because of the poor performance that he put it up. Uh, like I told you, you know, it's football word. Yeah. And uh, whenever a result doesn't come, you always will get a lot of talk and a lot of uh, hate. And that is how it is. Those who cannot live in that that pressure, they cannot be in the football world. Mm -hmm. So where where it is now, they take it from there and they build it. To the next stage. Now all of a sudden they turn. Then people, hey, will be as that's the football. That's how it is. So I wish that things would turn. Then they will see the work that they have been doing. Right after World Cup, I think it was it, right before. I think before the Afcon, the Coen, no, and I, yeah, yeah, uh, World Cup playoff uh, draw, and I got a question Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. The Nigeria during Afcon performance. Yeah. Blast up performance during Afcon. Most Ghanaians are saying, say, I bet some music, you know, <laughs> how do you see it? Uh, like you are saying, you know, the performance wise and the players, one to one players wise, I can see that Nigeria is in front of us. Mm -hmm. um, but football, anything can happen in football. And I don't know the players that Ghana is going to call mm -hmm. for this game. But with the right players and the right attitude and everything with the hard work i think football is round and anything can happen okay. and i wish that it goes into ghana way but what see how mm -hmm. two teams now if i see the two teams the players wise and where they are playing this nigeria have a lot of players who are playing the competitive uh, football uh, in, in europe so if i look that they are a little bit in the on the paper they are a little bit ahead of us but again, football is round. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Family, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you're married. I'm married. With yeah. how many kids? I have only one kid. Uh, on, on a small footballer. Oh, Bobo. Why? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Football is hard. I've been telling him that uh, you have to enjoy it. Uh, and if you want to play football, you have to put the hard work in it. Mm -hmm. Then the opportunity will come. I see an ACL picture here. Yeah. On the, on the sign here. Yeah, Asian, yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah. I see Ronaldinho Jesse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but by the time I ended up, I for born OJ, the man. Yeah, Ronaldinho came with a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, Jesse's because he knows he was one of the stars in the, at, in the world time, at that yeah, time, yeah. yeah. So I got, I got this, uh, then I went to the dressing room to hear if they can sign it for me. And the other players sign it behind. And I'm very grateful for it that I, I have. One of the legends who have played very good football in the world, mm. uh, just hanging here. And so, what did you do? Naga said the man. Yeah, yeah. Not sign other mm. players of Brazil. Yeah, I, I went in there. They give it to me, and I went in there. Then uh, I, I let everyone sign it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And mm. I will see um, Ronaldo. Yeah. Why? That that was uh, against uh, uh, Copenhagen against uh, United in the okay. uh, Old Trafford. Man U. Yeah, Man Champions League. Yeah, Champions League. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. How was it for you? I mean, playing mind you, the pressure. Yeah. Who was watching? Yeah, but but uh, again, like I said, uh, you always will have the butterfly in the stomach going to this kind of games. Mm -hmm. It's normal, but if you cannot cope with the pressure, then you don't have to. Cannot be in this this world. You cannot be in this football world because football is like going to examination every weekend. That's how it is. It's like you you have to you have to put your mind that I just have to go there and deliver. Mm -hmm. And that's how I took it. One of the best games mm -hmm. Ghanaians will never forget is this particular match. Mm -hmm. uh, how were you guys psyched? Because our first time in the World Cup, mm -hmm. you're going to play Brazil, mm -hmm. one of the world's best. Mm -hmm. How was the feeling atmosphere for the Blasters? Uh, I remember before this game, when uh, when we when we qualify, then we have to meet them. Then it's like everyone was like everyone was happy. Wow! Or happy to to play with. 
play with them yeah be, play with the best players there they have kafu they have uh, all the legends yeah. were there but we also know that it's gonna be difficult uh, i remember that the, after the game some some were joking on the radio that the train nail cry okay because <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to lose uh, big, but three days was okay. So, but it was, it was a good experience mm -hmm. uh, playing with the stars. Yeah. Mm. Thank you very much. Welcome. A, Welcome. It's, a, it's an honor. So, I mean, to the young ones watching us, mm. tell them something. I'm on, on some footballers. Yes. Uh, what I want to tell the footballers who are working hard and want to be in the international stage and go far is uh, you have to be humble, work hard and um, get the rest that you need so that you have the energy to to perform and with luck and prayers and the right people around you you can make it so i wish you all the best and uh, keep working hard you can you can still make it if ACN and me have make it and everyone make it you can also make it just keep working I was about leaving when you mentioned ACN and you mentioned another name, but I thought it was Montari. Yeah. And Montari came to my, my, yeah. my mind. Mm. Montari is playing for Hasselfuck. And people yeah. are saying, say, I'm a whole Montari. I mean, yeah. like a big boy like him. Mm -hmm. Why come all the way to Hasselfuck to come and play? Sankoi so has a Ugo master to retirement. Do you yeah. think it was a good decision? Uh, I think so, because I think the, the reason why, I don't know, but uh, I think Montari playing in the league, it gives. Uh, his experience to the, the uh, those around him and those in the league because he also send send a signal to those who are playing in Europe that they want to retire but they don't know if they can go can go play back home and stuff like that that they, they can still go there and play and give the experience to the rest of the players that are also there. As a boy, I could ball Legon Cities mm -hmm. and people are saying say he as a Team no they didn't really perform. Mm. Now I say, I for the want of better words, and was said to his legendary status. Yeah, I know. But sometimes what people have to know is even as a more John training, but just on the feet with the players, is 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 big for the players. They learn from him. Yeah. So if you have to sacrifice to go do this, and the the ones who are looking up to him will get something from it, to be also to get their dream going, then I think. They, they should people have to respect that because with this legends that would like to play the league he will just benefit the league and give the the coming ones also experience to 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 achieve their goals mm -hmm. before i go my final mm -hmm. question what are you also doing to help football back home uh jamestown uh i have a i've opened a, a not academy but i helped a lot in jamestown where uh, i come from mm -hmm. I have a small, a small team, kids there that I, 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 I let them work with them and uh, send some clothes and stuff like that there. And uh, as I'm, I'm talking now, I have, I have my sponsors who are sponsoring me around my, my, my academy that I have, my team that I have here. I use the network to, if someone have something that I want to deliver, then I, t I take it, as, as I'm talking, there's a lot of uh, pools uh, pillows that are going to Ghana now, uh, so that, that I want to sh share it in the different some different uh, hospitals that uh, will benefit them. So, even though I'm living here, I do everything what I can to uh, to help how much I can okay. because I know where I come from and uh, I always will do my best. Thank you very much. Welcome. Starting from Olympics, coming to Europe to play football and playing for the under 21 in Argentina 2001, 2006 to the World Cup, playing for the Black Stars, the senior national team of our beloved Ghana. My name is Razak Pimpo and I'm Kasai. My name is Felix. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Me did the yan yan touch you are, and maybe I'm discovering for you. Papa, come and for our Ghana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee, mobile money transfer. A ye easy, a ye convenient, a ye fast, and sounds so ye free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pim tap tap send. In TNA, also download the Tap Tap Send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let us see how come we're busy and for our Ghana for nanny na Tap Tap Send. Papa no no.